have influence. They're dead. The funeral parlors. They have no life. They have no strength. Their word doesn't mean anything. They're going to be men standing in the pulpit. They're going to give the people what they want. If you've got idolatry in your heart, you're going to wind up in a church with a preacher with idolatry in his heart. And that preacher is going to minister to that idol that's in your heart. He's going to tell you it's okay to sin. He's going to tell you it's all right to go easy. It's all right to have fun. It's all right to be a sports fanatic and not pray or seek the face of God. That's what's happening all over America. The old system is dying. God is leaving it. You've got a many churches, David, Pentecostal churches, and it's death. God's not there. God's gone. The leaders are scarcely dead. And God said, well, that sin in the camp, the glory is going to be gone. While the church of Eli was under judgment and being forsaken by the glory of the Lord and taken over by the devil, God was busy raising up a remnant. And Samuel represents the holy remnant. And this is what God's going to do. This is what he's doing right now. He's training some of you that are here now. Many of you are being trained by the Holy Ghost because you're going to be a part of this, this army that he's raising up. Here's the training and preparation of a holy remnant. First of all, the remnant is always birthed in prayer and intercession. Always. If you're going to seek God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your strength, you're going to feel the pain and the grief of God for his church. You're going to suffer consequences. You're going to be misunderstood on all sides. You're going to people accuse you of all kinds of things. And folks, God hearing the prayer of a people in his house, of people who yearn for an outpouring of the righteousness of Jesus Christ, of people who yearn for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon their sons and their daughters, of people who want to see the glory of the Lord come down on his church. Secondly, in the training of the remnant, it's going to be trained to know the voice of the Lord. Do you know why Hophni and Phineas never listened to their father? He lost the spiritual authority. Because they saw his compromise. They just laughed at him. And folks, that's what's needed in the church today. The spiritual authority of God. Those that can stand and say, Thus saith the Lord, because it's backed up with a light. He'll talk to the church, but he'll talk in one word syllables. Repent! Tell you who he's talking to. He's talking to those like Samuel with a pure heart, with a heart open. The time is coming when people are going to want to hear this word from heaven. The Bible says, God so moved on Samuel, none of his words fell to the ground. In other words, nothing he said was empty, but he said he heard from heaven. You ask God to do what he has to do in your life. And you go into the presence of the Lord and say, oh Lord, I want you to purge and sanctify me and cleanse me because I want to come to you with clean hands and a pure heart. And I want to hear you speak to my heart. God's raising up a holy people that know the voice of God. They're not going to have to go to some evangelist and get a word. we got people running all the United States trying to get a word. You know why they? Because God's not talking to them. I don't want God to talk to me through somebody else. I want to hear right from his heart, right from his lips. 